Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to perform data analysis on Uber pickups. So here we have a CSV file in which all the Uber orders which were placed were, are timestamped in the New York City. So we have that data. So we are going to display it and perform analysis and display it on our website using Streamlit. So here is the code for that. So first of all, we are going to import a package known as Streamlit which would help us to create a website and a graphical user interface for that website. And after that, we are going to use pandas to get our data and pre-process it to display it in the website. And we are also going to use numpy for calculations. So first of all, our title for the website would be Uber pickups in New York. So it will be the title message that would be displayed. And I will show you how it would look in the web page. So for this, I'm going to use the command streamlit space run space Uber pickups dot py. So our interface would look something like this Uber pickups in New York, Uber pickups in New York. And after that, we are going to make a variable date underscore column and store the string in it. After that, we are going to display a function def lowercase. So what this function will, uh, will do is take a string and convert it into lowercase. This function we are going to use later on. And after that, to load the data, we are going to create another function known as load underscore data for which we are going to use dot read csv function from pandas and reading this csv file so this csv file is in my local file system as you can see so we are reading this using pandas and here we are going to convert this entire data set into lowercase using the lowercase function that we just defined here and after that we are going to take the date column i'm going to open this and show it to you so as we can see here is a, here is a data set uh, first is date time latitude longitude and base so we are going to convert this, this column by default when we import it using dot read csv function it's in string and to properly interact with it we need to convert it into date time for <coughs> format. So for that we are going to use pd dot to date time format which is a pandas function to convert the column date column here this date column into date time for, format and then we are returning the data meaning our data frame that we just loaded as you can see in here as you can see here it is sorted by hours here we can see that during 5 pm the cab bookings are the most so after we have plotted the histogram we are going to plot a heat map like chart on our, on our map it would look something like this and we are going to give users a slider in which the users can choose the hour for example here I am choosing 17 meaning 5 o'clock and here as we can see here we get data for 5 o'clock as the dots are more dense here we can see in this area there are most of the cab bookings at 5 o'clock here and in areas like this here lower east side there are very less cab bookings and we can also change this let's say to 4 o'clock as we can see data is now changed so this so we are creating a subheader map of all pickups at so it would look something like this this subheader and below that we are going to create a map by using streamlit.map function and taking the filtered data so filtered data would, ha would have our date column remember remember we first converted that date column which was in string to date time this is why we converted into date time if we wouldn't have converted into date time we wouldn't have gotten this uh, this chart because it doesn't support the string format so that was it for this video and if you like this video and would like to watch more of these videos please consider subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching